Oh boy, I can already hear the screams and the pitchforks and the smashing in the background, but we're gonna make this video. So, as you all know, it's been recently announced by the director that there will be changes to the Sonic movie design, but I have three reasons why this is not a good idea. So let's discuss them right now. <laughs> A quick shout to Reman. This is a fan art that they drew for me and then posted it in my Discord server. And I gotta say, I'm loving how Metal Duckles is looking here. It kind of looks like he's moonwalking. I know he's not actually moonwalking, he's like hovering from the ground. But if you look very far enough, then it actually does look like he's moonwalking. So he's just missing that fedora, those sunglasses, and boom, you got yourself a robot, Michael Jackson. So <laughs> thank you so much, Reman. I really appreciate this. Anyway, hello there beautiful human, my name is RidersDX and welcome to my channel where we've got another video on a Sonic movie but with a viewpoint that I'm a little bit nervous to um, let out there but this was just something that I've been thinking about ever since we got the announcement that there will be changes to the Sonic movie design and so i just kind of been sorting through my feelings and I think I've come to the conclusion that I have three reasons as to why changing the design at this point in time might not be a good idea and so I'm just gonna go through them and then we can kind of discuss what you all think Think about them and yeah let's just hope that no fires get started or anything like that <laughs> in the duration of this video but before we get started I just want to do a quick recap of what is going on with the Sonic movie so far so if you've been living under a rock then you don't know that Jeff Fowler one of the directors of the Sonic movie has recently tweeted out this statement about the movie design and the criticism that's been surrounding it and so here's what the tweet says thank you for the support and the criticism the message is loud and clear you aren't happy with the design and you want changes. It's going to happen. Everyone at Paramount and Sega are fully committed to making this character the best he can be. Hashtag Sonic Movie, hashtag gotta fix fast. And so, as you can imagine, when this tweet was sent out, people kind of went berserk, you know, because it's like, oh my gosh, you have a major movie studio that's actually listening to fan feedback, and that's a really awesome thing, you know, at the face front, you know, it's one of the biggest issues with, I feel like, a lot of Hollywood movies and big companies is that they don't often listen to what fans are saying, and that can be a very frustrating thing, obviously, because, you know, fans are the ones that are buying these games, buying these TV shows, buying these movies and stuff, it's just like, the creators should really try to at least have the fans feedback in mind and use that to make an educated decision and it looks like that's what they did with the movie design and it looks like there will be some changes being made to the movie however when I heard this news I couldn't help but not be fully fully excited and it was very interesting to me because you know if I'm being honest I was pretty okay with the design for the most part you know it really didn't bother me and to me it felt like a brand new iteration of Sonic and I was really interested in seeing what direction they were gonna take him in but at the same time in my head I was like if they decide to go and make changes to the movie design I wouldn't have really minded either you know as long as Sonic doesn't look like excruciatingly terrifyingly horrible then I'm okay with it honestly and I really didn't feel like this movie design looked that terrible you know especially from certain angles I felt like it looked fine but once I heard this news I was a little happy but I also was a little bit um, either skeptical or not as excited and I was a little bit confused so I had to kind of sort through my feelings and ultimately I came around three main points as to why this design change might not be the best idea so my first reason was something that I kind of figured out when I started seeing tweets about this on Twitter and that's ultimately the amount of workload that's just been given to the animators and so here are horror stories about people working in the entertainment industry like working on movies TV shows and video games and how they're basically overworked to the max because the big publishers the big guys upstairs want these people to meet certain deadlines and make all this stuff and it's just not a reasonable amount of time to get this stuff done at least in a quality assured matter and that's why we've seen games like such as cycle 6 for example come out and just ultimately disappoint everyone that was looking forward to it because these poor developers were were put under these impossible deadlines by big publishers because you know they wanted to make the most maximal profit possible and that's a really sad thing about this industry is that a lot of people that don't have that power to say no and to change their working conditions they're under the mercy of these big hotshot executives that have no idea what 
always like to work in their shoes and just see numbers on the chart and basically are just like okay this is what we need to do to get this kind of profit so you need to go do that even if it's like 200 coding tasks in like an evening like I don't know I don't really make video games so I have no idea what I'm talking about here but I can imagine that happening with this with the change in the movie design it's something that I'm a little bit concerned about just because those poor animators they work so hard on a design that of course I do realize a lot of people don't like this design and people really shouldn't feel bad about complaining about the design either because it's within your right to give your opinion on it I just worry that like Paramount is not going to delay this movie because that's ultimately the only way that I'd be okay with this is like if Paramount decides to delay the movie because I don't really see how something like this could get done really fast you know unless you're like a 3d anime you can kind of give me an in-depth description as to why this won't take that much work from the team I really don't feel like this is something that can get done in six months like it just doesn't seem feasible to me and so I do feel for the animators I hope they treat them good and I hope that ultimately they get through this and do a good job on the movie still but I am worried that they're gonna be overworked and it's just a very like sad thing about this industry so this really doesn't have nothing to do with the movie per se it's just something that I don't know I think we should try to advocate for animators at least making sure that they are working under the optimal conditions now segueing into my second point is the quality of the movie so this movie is coming out in November and so that's six months and in six months from like you see from what Jeff Fowler is saying they're going to be making the design in a way that's going to please the majority of the public and so if my understanding is correct that's gonna result in some pretty significant changes I mean maybe there will be minor changes at the end of the day but if they're minor that I can still see people getting pretty upset at some things such as like science body proportions or something like that and so so I really do feel like that the best way if they're really gonna go about making these changes they need to be pretty significant changes to uh, make them the way that everyone's been asking them to make them and so I'm not sure what the quality of the final film is going to be if they're still maintaining that current release date of November because if they only have if they only have six months to get all this done there's going to be a lot of like errors and such in the movie and it's just not going to be the most quality movie that I think it could have been if they stuck to the original design because you know with the original design they've already designed it adequately so the animation flows smoothly and everything's already been wrapped up you know we're getting like the film that's made to the best of their abilities if they kept the design the same but now that they're drawing in this hazardous like variable that like okay we're gonna be changing up Sonic completely who probably takes up like 90% of the movie that's gonna be a lot of workload to add to animators and that's a lot to complete within six months and so Paramount could really just like solve these first two points just by giving the film an extended release date you know just put it off to like next year or something and just have it come on like the winter or spring however just by seeing like how Paramount operates and seeing what they seem to be very concerned about I highly highly doubt they're going to delay the movie over this you know Paramount has already set up all this promotional stuff what they have on their mind is money they're going to care about making the most money and the biggest profit possible so that's why I really don't see any universe or any scenario where Paramount would be willing to delay to delay this movie there's just no way in my mind that they're going to delay, delay this movie so that's where my head is at now this third point is something that I find especially interesting in particular and it's something that I didn't even realize people were feeling because I was seeing tweets about this on Twitter and I had no idea that people even felt this way and that's the creative integrity of the people behind this movie and so we don't know the sure reasons as to why they really decide to go to design besides wanting to make it look more realistic and having Sonic you know be more more embedded into the human world like that's all we know so far from the interviews that we've gotten in like their comments their public statements and so from what we can tell they thought that this design was a good idea because it made Sonic look more realistic and it let him integrate into the human world more now I know that like a lot of people have a lot of feelings about that statement I'm not saying I agree with their mindset I'm just saying that that's what they thought and that's why they made the film the way that it is but that is their creative statement that is their creative stance on how they're interpreting Sonic and this is a really big topic as to like how much should an artist compromise their art to appease like an audience because I made this point in one of my previous videos too it's the truth about the Sonic 2019 movie that it's very clear to me that they're not making this movie for Sonic fans they're making it for the general public more specifically a younger demographic to introduce Sonic to their generation and so they probably thought that this was the best way to introduce Sonic to them maybe they were looking at like trends or something about like what kind of characters are appealing to the young public right now that's why they made Sonic the way that he is but most 
of the people that are complaining about the Sonic movie design are longtime Sonic fans that are adults and they only see Sonic as being this one way, you know, like I grew up with the Adventure Sonic for example, and my probably my most requested game on the top of my head that I want Sega to make is another game like the Adventure games, you know, that's just how it is for me, that's what I grew up with, that's what I like the most and that's what I want to see more of, but it's gonna be different for someone that grew up during the Classic era, or someone that grew up during the Boost Trilogy era, you know, people are going to want mostly what they grew up with. You know, there are some exceptions of people that genuinely enjoy something else from what they grew up with a lot more. But I guarantee you that most of the people in this fan base love the game that they love the most because it was a part of their childhood. You know, that's just my opinion. I mean, it could be completely wrong, but that's just my perspective and seeing like how a lot of people advocate for the ideas that they have for the Sonic franchise. I think a lot of them can be tied down to that key statement that it's what they grew up with. It's what they're used to. It's what what they love and it's what they want to keep seeing more of and most of the people that are complaining about the Sonic movie design grew up with Sonic looking a different way and that's why I think this movie design is very subjective so when people are saying things like how could you like this design you know it looks hideous I'm like in your mind it looks hideous but that's because you have a very fixated mindset of what Sonic looks like I guarantee you if Sonic came out of the gate looking like this then no one would have a problem with the design and that's just it people are very used to one way of Sonic they're very they're used to one image of Sonic and they're very used to that and they want that image to keep coming coming back because that's what they're used to and they don't want it to change and that's perfectly respectable and that's perfectly reasonable you know that's your taste and that's totally fine however clearly this is what the designers behind the movie felt like was best going out of it and you know a part of me is just a little bit disappointed that we won't get to see what their true vision is but you know like I said I don't really mind that Sonic is getting changed I didn't really have a big problem with the design to begin with but I don't really have a problem with them changing the design either there's just a few things that were in my mind that I'm like man this is kind of why I'm not very excited about this happening but maybe I'll see the final design that they're gonna go with and actually get really excited and be like, wow, that looks amazing. So who knows? I may completely change my mind about this. But yeah, these are just a few of the points as to why I'm not as excited about this change in design as some people might expect me to be. But I'd be really interested in hearing your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about the points that I brought up? And do you agree with them? Do you disagree with them? I'd be really curious as to hear your thoughts in the comment section. And yeah. That's pretty much anything. I feel like I just said a mouthful, so I'd be really, really interested in hearing what you think. Okay, please give this video a thumbs up if you like it, subscribe to my channel if you like videos like these want to see more in the future, follow me on Twitter or Twitch, and join my Discord server, The Spongy Garden. Now this is Riders, riding out. Shout out to my Patreon supporters, Reese Gaming and Barry the Strawberry. If you would like to become a patron, then please take a look at the link in the description box below and take a look at what perks you could get. Thank you so much.